Well, I'm puzzled uh, by a couple of things. First of all, the president has boasted about his deal-making capacity, and there's one thing he talked about in the campaign that I've been talking about for a long time that I welcome, namely forcing our wealthy allies to do more. Uh, there's no question, he's right, America has been overspending on behalf of the defense of people who should be able to do more for themselves. And I'm glad that he said that. But he's just undercut that argument, because what has he done? He has just said to them, oh, by the way, you know my complaint that you're not spending enough? You really don't have to worry about it, because I'm going to more than take up the slack. If I'm one of those countries who he is threatening that uh, if you don't step up, we're going to pull back, and then I see him with this incredible increase that I don't even think the Defense Department could handle, uh, that takes the pressure off them. Secondly, I would like to see an explanation of where it is he thinks we haven't had enough military strength. Uh, yes, we have terrible problems in, 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 in Afghanistan and trying to get things done, but it's not going to be uh, new ships and, and, and missiles. The problems we have, it's not that we don't have sufficient overall firepower. We could defeat any combination of countries in, a, in, a, in the kind of war that he's building up for. The problems go elsewhere. That's why you have people like John McCain or uh, uh, others saying, hey, wait a minute, you're making a big mistake cutting the State Department. So, uh, I, as I said, I think there's a great inconsistency here. And I will make a prediction as I look at what's going on here. Pretty soon, you're going to see the Trump administration telling us that uh, you really shouldn't too much worry about the deficit in the short term. I think this is building up for a, uh, a, a, a total reversal of one of its pledges, which is to start bringing the deficit down. Yeah, it's something that they've continued to stick to. I mean, we heard it from Gary Cohn in an interview here on CNBC just last week. Philip, let's talk about the big winner in all of this. Has to be the defense contractors, right? That $52 billion increase in defense spending? Yes, of course. Some of it will end up with uh, contractors and uh, equipment builders. Absolutely. Where else do you see winners and losers? I mean, the EPA budget gets hit the hardest. A third of it would be eliminated. Mm -hmm. Which industries does that help and which ones does it hurt besides the department itself? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's got to hurt the, uh, I'm sorry, it's got to help the energy industry. I'm thinking of energy exploration and transportation. Um, and you're going to see both the, the change in regulation on the environmental side and then the, in such as the different climate for approving uh, projects, you know, whether it's uh, transportation like pipelines or exploration or, or the use of federal lands. My guess is that's the, uh, the big winner in this. Can I say, I think that's true as to the, traditional energy, uh, fossil fuel and others, but this is going to be hurting the uh, other forms of energy, renewable forms of energy. They're going to be cutbacks in research. In fact, that's one of the things that troubles me is the cutbacks in research in general. Particularly, apparently, there's a big hit coming for the National Institutes of Health, uh, an area where America does very well in global competition. Uh, it's a way in which you, you improve the quality of life in the future. I was struck, for example, uh, one of the articles I read said, well, they're going to be cutting back on training money for nurses. Nursing is one of those things that we can do to provide decent jobs, good jobs for people who may be losing out in the manufacturing sector because of technology or trade. That's a good job for people, and you can't put a needle in somebody's arm from Mumbai. It's a good locally-based job situation for working people, and they're going to cut that money. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.